I was always on my feet. I was always on a horse. I was always running around playing with my brother. It was just constant go, go, go. I, I played soccer when I was young. That changed July 19th, 2014, whenever I had my car accident. The walking, it is like, I was talking to two completely different legs for months. And one day we were walking and, you know, they were helping me as usual. And then they stopped helping me and I took maybe three or four steps in sequence. And I just stopped and I, my lips started quivering and my ears, I mean, my, my, my face got hot and my eyes got teary and I was like, oh my God, that just happened. I just took steps. This study shows that individuals with chronic motor complete spinal cord injury can recover uh, the ability to walk over ground when they're provided with epidural stimulation um, to the lower spinal cord and intense training and bring in the intent to step. My accident was uh, occurred while mountain biking. Flipped over, landed on my head. Got a little bruise right here, but otherwise looked unscathed but couldn't move. I was the, the first to get bilateral steps, I think is how, they've, how we've uh, termed that. Uh, when it first happened, it was kind of a surprise. One day I was like, hey, can you, I was just, I was getting one leg pretty consistently. And uh, consistently enough that uh, I asked the person that was on my other leg to, to come off and let me give it a try. The spinal cord is very receptive to sensory cues, so if it gets a little bit, then the spinal cord will give a little bit more, and it's, it's getting to the correct little bit to initiate the, the, the chain of events. So what this means is that the spinal circuitry has a capacity to relearn how to walk in certain conditions.